According to the 2021 Mintel Sustainability Barometer, nearly half of Americans believe that they can make a positive impact on the environment. But when it comes to recycling, it can be really confusing to decipher the recycling symbols on the package to figure out what goes where. Well, just in time for America Recycles Day, Jeremy Walters from Republic Services is here to take some of the mystery out of what we need to know when we throw. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Hey, how are you, Audrey? I'm great. Well, things can be a little confusing when it comes to recycling. What are some of the biggest mistakes that folks make? Yeah, they can. And you know, we, we talked about the recycling symbol being on just about everything these days. And that is actually what leads to a lot of confusion. So number one is bagging recyclables. Flexible plastics, probably the single biggest issue that we have at any recycling center across the US. They wrap and tangle around the sorting equipment. But to take it one step further, a lot of folks actually bag their recyclables. And so our machinery is designed to separate one thing at a time. So if you bag your recyclables, you're actually hindering the process. But when it comes to recyclables themselves, there is a little bit of prep work that we need to do. Practice what we call empty, clean, and dry. So that's taking bottles, cans, and jugs, and then rinsing them out. If you have a milk jug and it still has milk pooling up in the bottom, that can potentially damage the fragile stuff, namely paper and cardboard. So squirt a little bit of water in here, swirl it around, tap it dry, put the lid back on, and then you can throw it in the recycling bin. Okay, all right, well, hold on. So when you package your items for recycling, don't put them in a plastic bag? No, the, the bag itself is a problem, but again, we're doing one thing at a time. So can you decode the recycling symbols for us? Yeah, so let's, let's dive into that a little bit. Specifically when you're talking about plastics, you know, somewhere on it, most of the time it's on the bottom, it'll actually have those chasing arrows with a number in it. And so the number helps you follow maybe local guidelines, what you can and can't throw in your recycling bin. But it's actually not for us at the recycling center, it's for you as the consumer to look at this and say, okay, this is a number two, then you can go and research what number two means. Being that it's HDPE plastic, you can research maybe, uh, you know, human health concerns. Is it better for storing materials or not? So it's for you as the consumer. But adding to the layer of confusion, you know, recycling symbols are on just about everything these days. And I mentioned that not everything is recyclable that has that symbol. Sometimes if you look closely, you'll see that it says store drop off or please return to a participating store for recycling. But don't think that just because something has a recycling symbol on it, that it can automatically go in your curbside recycling bin. And where can we go for more information to find out more about recycling correctly? They can check out RecyclingSimplified.com. It's an excellent resource filled with videos, tips, tricks, uh, activities for the kids. And if there's educators out there, we even have K through 12 recycling curriculum. My guest has been Jeremy Walters from Republic Services, and I hope that he's been able to take, like I said, some of the mystery out of what you need to know before you throw. Jeremy, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. My pleasure.